It's been a while since I've done a done an actual garden vlog, hasn't it? Been so busy uh, weekends, holidays, where the kids are home, and then yesterday Natalie's mom came, and when I have extra time, I've been working on the raised uh, uh, edge wood chip alternative bed projects. We have like 11 to 15 beds or so to complete before the end of the season, and we haven't even really touched on the wetlands on one project. So we got a lot of stuff to do and very little time, extra time to I, do. I guess I should say once that summer, <clears throat> once the summer heat hits, that's it. I'm pretty much done for the season. I have no idea why we have a toad out this time of day. Maybe the cats have been bothering. Look at that elderberry in full bloom. And we actually have some berries that are riper, almost ripe as morning well. Morning glories in full bloom. A better shot for you. Look at all the morning glories. Some of our native sage here, Lear Leaf or Lyre Leaf Sage, Blyden's Alba. Citrus bloom buds fixing to open. Some of the passion flowers starting to wake starting up. Starting to get some new growth on the Mang Chai 60 mulberry. And there's a fig trying to uh, break a the yerba mate here is still kind of looking poor, but I guess it's hanging on. Maybe the spring or summer it'll come back to life or maybe it looks won't. like we got a tiny bit of tip growth on this little lila avocado that has been sitting here and weathering all these freezes there's some dewberry flowers and they are every little area here there's potentially hundreds of flowers from the dewberries and many that haven't opened hopefully this will be our best season for dewberry pies I'm yet so worried about getting pollinators but look at there there's babies on the scarlet beauty plum self-pollinating I can't really see it so hopefully you guys can see all the little baby plums so much uh, sun glare here there might be 50 so of them got these golden dorset apple blooms fixing to open and these loquats here I don't know if I've ever seen them so densely populated as far as fruit goes we had a freeze last year that killed them all and maybe it's just coming back with a vengeance we are anxiously awaiting all of the little persimmon trees we planted last year to break dormancy. They haven't yet, but they feel like they're not rotten, so that's a good sign. Remember, we bought three. I forget which ones these right are. Right here, we forgot it was even here because the pumpkins had went over it. Now, I think they misspelled this as like gumbo, which I think means jumbo or something. Well, let's hope it comes out and we have some persimmons in a few years. I think I think those annual tithonias have reseeded themselves all over. I'm pretty sure that's what I was that told is. Before you have to collect those seeds before cold weather and then store them, you know, in a warm environment, then reseed them out in the spring or summer. But maybe in the right microclimate, you don't need to do that bunch more dewberries so we are finally getting these buds coming out of the uh, mulberries so you got leaf buds and it looks like fruit buds as well the, mul the white mulberries seem to take a little bit longer than the red hybrids and i cannot wait to try a pie with these we get so much bigger fruit with these guys and such a bigger abundance we just don't like them as is for fresh eating but uh you know people say just try some lemon juice and see if it helps you know bring that acidity and flavor out of them yeah it looks like maybe about half of our citrus our mature citrus is showing signs of uh, the flower buds here forming and swelling not many if any open yet but hey we can't wait let's figure out when we need to fertilize these guys again this year if we do a nice heavy load of fertilizer and I hope we get a bunch of fruit to to enjoy and give away and trade and sell. I think that's about it for today's garden vlog. Take care.